Hello, Hacienda La Puente. This is Ricardo, one of your tech tosses. And today we're going to spend some time talking about some tips and tricks uh, that will be very helpful for you in Google Classroom. So now that we created our classes from Aries, we can go into one of the classes. And the first thing you will notice is that this class has a different name. Usually when you create your classes from Google Classroom, it automatically gives it the name of the period as it is set up in Aries. So you can, actually, you can actually go in here and change it. And the way you can change your class name is by going to the cog wheel over here, to the settings set, uh, wheel right here, and click on it. And it's going to give you some options, okay? So the class settings is gonna open for us. I'm gonna be able to see some options. So under class name, you can basically just delete the name that Google Classroom gave the class and give it whatever name you might wanna give it. Um, Spanish one, period one. Um, chemistry honors period five um, the section it's taken from Aries you can add your room number if you want to you don't have to but one thing that we tell the teachers is to scroll down to the general section and under stream we'll talk about stream in a second we always tell teachers to switch this to only teachers can post post comments so at the beginning if you are not familiar with Google Classroom you will see that some of our kids might want to type stuff on the stream and we tell teachers that at the beginning, the stream should function as a place where you notify kids about homework, assignments, um, maybe uh, important news, um, maybe you share something with them, kind of like we did with Remind. So this is the stream and you want to set it up like that. Uh, we'll spend some time talking about grading and how you can set uh, great categories and a great book in here later on. But I wanted to just give you an idea about the stream. Okay, that's one of the uh, tips that I have for you. The other one, you can change the background of your class by just going to select Teams. And over here now, Google Classroom has added different um, categories for you to add. So you basically, if you teach English, you can go in here and just pick one and it will change it for you once you go to select class theme. So that's another um, tip that you have um, for um, Google Classroom under Classwork you will notice that um, this teacher has uh, created over here a topic you can create topics to keep your class organized so basically if i went in here and i added a topic maybe i teach uh, the little ones uh, first grade and i want to have my ela assignments in one category and i want to have my math assignments in a different category and i want to have my science and so on and so on so notice how it creates topics now it's easy, easy for me to just grab things and put them under the right topics. Okay, this will keep your class organized and our students can basically on the left side go to topics and by just going to ELA, it will take them to those assignments or by going to math, it will take them to those assignments. It's so kind of a nice uh, tool to have um, over here too. Okay, uh, under people, you will notice that um, by default, our students are added to the class. If the parents of that student uh, have an email and record on Aries, you will see that the parents are added in here and the parents actually get an email that asks if they want to get um, updates from Google Classroom and they can choose to receive updates daily or weekly. But if the, uh, the email is not in there, you can actually just go in here and put in the email of the parent if you know the email. Okay. Um, up here under teachers, you can add a co-teacher. Maybe there's someone that uh, teaches the class. You are co-teachers. You can add another teacher to be a uh, co-teacher in the class. And finally, um, the last one under grades, um, we will discuss how you can actually set up grading categories for grades. So these are some tips that I wanted to share with you for um, Google Classroom. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosses. Have a good day.